Today on BRC TV Refax, we answer which mag. Hi, I'm Ryan, your host of Beers TV. Refax is all about quick, straight to the point answers to those questions reefers ask all the time. Today we answer, which magnesium mix should I be using for my reef tank? This is something that we get asked dozens of times every day. So if you're wondering which one to use, you're not alone. There are two options out there. Both are a mix of pharma magnesium chloride and magnesium sulfate, just in a different ratio. You can buy them separately, but most people pick up a pre-mixed pouch now because you don't end up with extra of one. And frankly, just because it's easier and there's no measuring. With the pre-mixed pouches, it's just one large pouch and enough water to make a gallon of solution or fill the gallon sized jug. I would note that there's a lot more salt in the magnesium solution than calcium or alkalinity, so it uses a lot of salt and it needs to be dissolved, so don't be surprised. Okay, as to which recipe or pre-mixed solution is right for you, there are two options, one labeled general adjustments and one labeled two-part maintenance. First thing I'll say is both have the same potency and both will work for most uses and nothing catastrophic is going to happen if you use the wrong one. One is just slightly better than the other for specific purposes. So you can use both safely and I wouldn't get overly hung up on which one, but I'm still sure that you want to use the best option for your application, so let's get to it. I'm going to start with the one labeled two-part maintenance. The only reason you should consider the two-part formula or mix is if you're dosing BRS two-part on a daily basis. In that case, every time you empty an entire gallon of calcium and alkalinity solution, you should add 20 ounces of the two-part magnesium solution. The only difference with this mix is a two-part magnesium solution has less magnesium chloride, more magnesium sulfate, and ionically balanced to be used with BRS two-part. This mix recognizes you're already adding chloride with BRS two-part and the calcium chloride portion of the two-part and then corrects for that. One important note or key differentiator here with the two-part magnesium mix is there's no calculator required here, no testing required. This is just a component of the overall formula in ionic balance. In an ideal world, the only time you would use the two-part magnesium mix is when you're done with an entire gallon of calcium and alkalinity and you add that required 20 ounces of the two-part magnesium maintenance solution. Okay, so what about the second magnesium mix labeled general maintenance? Well, I think the easiest way to say it is anytime you use the magnesium calculator on our site, the best choice is a general maintenance mix. This one has a much higher ratio of magnesium chloride to sulfate and closer to the ratio found in natural seawater because it doesn't have to compensate for the chloride in the calcium chloride part of two part. Outside of that, anytime you use the calculator, the general mix is the right one. I'll give you some examples of when this is the best option. Outside the general two part maintenance doses and then you find your levels have dropped, correction should be best made with a general mag mix. If you use a calcium reactor, Kelkwasser, one parts like carbocalcium, or other two to four part calcium and alkalinity solutions and need to make occasional adjustments to magnesium levels, the general mix is also the best option if you want to adjust the magnesium levels in the salt mix in your mixing bin. Okay, so that sums it up, but there's a lot of confusion on this one, so I want to give one final clarification. The specific task you're doing today is dosing 20 ounces of magnesium because your one gallon jugs of two-part alkalinity calcium just emptied. Use the mix labeled two-part maintenance because it's formulated specifically for what you're doing and the one you want to use. Alternatively, if what you're doing today is increasing the magnesium levels in the tank for almost any other reason, the mix labeled general maintenance is the right one. Most specifically, if you're testing and then using the reef calculator to make a correction, the general mix is almost certainly the best option. End of story. Okay, so all that said, what if you watched all this and realized you have the wrong magnesium mix at home? Well, nothing terrible is going to happen to you if you use the wrong one, specifically in the short term. Chemistry imbalances would really only show up with using the wrong one for many months to a year. So it's okay to use either in a pinch, but I suggest getting the right tool for the right job next time you order. A bag of mix is less than 20 bucks and not a huge investment. So hopefully we answered all your questions on which magnesium mix you should use for your tank. If you have other questions, shoot the BRS team a quick email, chat, or even call. Even better, check out the links below for Reef to Reef and BRS's hashtag AskBRSTV group for community threads specific to today's exact conversation. Interested in free reefing gear every Monday, Randy and I refund some preferred reefers last orders, but also just what's in your cart so you don't even have to buy to win. That's one of the preferred reefer perks. Check out the link down below. As always, if you find what we do here helpful, let us know with a quick thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be instantly notified when we release new reefing videos like this one. See you next week with another episode of BRS TV.